to know more about asivagam and its founder mercury we have to depend on jain text and the buddhist text today in this video we are going to see what gautam siddhartha the buddha said about mercury in the anguttara nyayaka chapter 3 137 This chapter name is a hair blanket. Here Buddha says, mendicants, a hair blanket is said to be the worst kind of woven cloth. It's cold in the cold, hot in the heat, ugly, smelly, and unpleasant to touch. In the same way, the teaching of Makkali is said to be the worst of all the doctrines of the various ascetics and brahmins makali that silly man has this doctrine and view there is no power in deeds action or energy now all the perfected ones the fully awakened buddhas who lived in the past taught the efficacy of deeds action and energy but makali opposes them by saying there is no power in deeds action or energy all the perfected ones the fully awakened buddhas who will live in the future will teach the efficacy of deeds action and energy but makali opposes them by saying there is no power in deeds action or energy i too the perfected one the fully awakened buddha in the present teach the efficacy of deeds action and energy but makali opposes me by saying there is no power in deeds action or energy further buddha says it's like a trap set at the mouth of a river which would bring harm suffering calamity and disaster for many fish in the same way that silly man makali is a trap for humans it seems to me he has come into the world for the harm suffering calamity and disaster of many beings though buddha talks about uh, makali uses makali name here we find a lot of misinformation let me explain the topic of this chapter in anguttara nyayaka is the hair blanket and ajita kesa kambali is one of the great six great ascetic attributed to wearing a jacket made of hair in tamil he is known as nari veru utalayar so the hair blanket and the buddha talks about the smelly hair blanket he talks about ajita kesa kambali and not about markali during the time of uh, buddha probably much uh, older than buddha these were the great six ascetics and their names are purana kasappa in tamil he is known as purana kayappan number 2 is makkali gosala in tamil he is known only as markali number 3 ajita kesa kambali in tamil he is known as uh nari veru utalayar number 4 pakkuda kachayana in tamil he is known as pakkudukai nankaniyar number 5 is sanjay belati putta number 6 is niganda nada putta he is the mahavira of jainism and these are the six great ascetics and we find the first four of them are tamilians they are from the land of tamil nadu having known about the six great ascetics and the first four are from tamil nadu let us see uh, their philosophy purana kasappa or purana kayappan his theory is all actions are futile in tamil we call it as vinai marupu kolgai and markali his philosophy is it's all fate or fatalism determinism in other words he talks about life is predetermined the moment a new uh, being is born 
In Tamil, we call this as Oor Kodpad. And Ajita Kesa Kambali, otherwise known as Nariveru Uttalaya, his theory is about materialism. In Indian uh, philosophy, we call this as Ulagayatam. And he also talks about disintegration. In Tamil, it is called Sidaivu Kodpadu, which means he says that uh, humans are made of the four elements and all these elements uh, return to its source. The water element returns to water. The fire element return to, uh, returns to the fire. This is what Nari Veru Uttalayar or the Ajita Kesa Kambali talks about. And Pakkuda Kachayana, in Tamil, he is called as Pakkudukai Nankaniyar. He is attributed to the atomism, otherwise known as Urumayiyam. He is the father of atomic theory. And these are the various philosophy of these great men. Now it should be uh, very clear in the chapter named the hair blanket in the Angutara Nyayaka, Buddha mocks the dress that is the hair blanket of Ajita Kesa Kambali and discusses the doctrine of Purana Kayapan. He discusses that all actions are futile. That philosophy belongs to Purana Kasapa, but he attributes the dress of Ajita Kesa Kambali and the doctrine of Purana Kasapa to Makkali. And this entire thing is wrong because Makkali has to be identified with the Ur Kodpadu or the, the fatalistic uh, philosophy. But Buddha mocks uh, Makkali in this uh, conversation. We have known only about uh, Buddha's love and compassion. In this chapter, we are looking at Buddha's mockery of the greatest leader of Ajivika, in other words, Asivagam. He talks about Makkali and uh, Buddha shows the intolerance of other ascetics views and rivalry among the many school of thoughts. And Makkali seems to have given a tough time to the Buddha and Bahavira 2,600 years ago. Today, after 2,600 years, we find that Buddhism is on decline or non-existent in India. Jainism is followed by very little and INR, that is Makkali, in Tamil, he is also called as Arapayar Satan. The worship of Arapayar Satan is on the rise. Lord Ayappa worship is also attributed to Ayanarapan worship. And there are thousands of INR temples all over Tamil Nadu and many new ones are built in Tamil Nadu. And to know about more about Markali or Arapayar Satan, it was the work of Professor K. Nedunjariyan which has brought out that Markali is a great Tamil ascetic who is attributed to the Ur Kodpadu or the fatalism or the pre-determinism uh, of philosophy and his worship is on the rise in Tamil Nadu.